It's a beautiful spring day in May. The earth is thawing, dormant seeds are starting to stretch up out of the ground, and there's the sweet smell of dew in spring budding in the air. I'm leading a group of second graders out to the garden. We've been working together all year, doing garden classes in the fall and cooking classes in the winter. They are just as excited as I am to be getting back out to the garden, and they show it by not being able to contain themselves in line, running up to the white picket fence to peer over at what might be growing and exclaiming at the sprouts they see from the radish seeds we planted the week before. As the kids skip past me into the garden, one of them catches my ear while absentmindedly humming, ba da ba ba ba. The tune hits me like a truck. This jingle has no place in my garden. <laughs> it's the antithesis of what I'm trying to instill in these students about where their food comes from, how it's processed, and what it does to their bodies. But for this second grader, it has every place in his brain. He is constantly bombarded by TV advertisements, posters on the street, and radio commercials for fast food. And most likely, he enjoys meals at one of the five restaurant franchises marked by the Golden Arches in Portland, Maine. Children in our nation are set up to have highly processed foods, which are expertly formulated with salt, sugar, and fat to activate the pleasure centers of their still-forming brains, marketed towards them, and ingrained into their subconscious wiring. This tune, stopping me in my tracks, reminds me of what I'm up against. It's really what the kids are up against, but they're most likely not aware of it. So I'm here to facilitate a living classroom where they can plant a seed, nurture it, and pull out the final product of a round red radish straight from the earth. These fast food giants may have a $1 billion budget per year to spend on advertising, but I have the power of relationship building and the excitement of growing your own food. I have an outdoor classroom where kids are excited about introducing their young taste buds to the spicy zing of a radish. Our lives, my students' lives, and my mission as a food core service member are entangled in our industrial food system that puts profits before people's health and well-being. It puts profits before the environment, and it puts profits before effective food distribution, disregarding food access and food security for all. During my service, I'm here trying to offer an alternative narrative, where students get to watch a seed turn into a vegetable, taste its freshness, and feel how it nourishes their bodies. I'm doing my best to instill knowledge and healthy habits around food in hopes that this will click and they will have the tools that they need to resist the effect that our fast food nation could have on their minds, bodies, and lives. I often think of myself as a vegetable cheerleader, but on the deepest level, I'm resisting and redefining the food messaging that bombards our youth on a daily basis. Thank you.